We're going to go ahead and replace our strut bumper and boot located right here inside of our strut. Using our 22 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead, loosen, and remove our lug nuts. Remove the wheel and set it aside. We're going to get and remove our bracket here for our ABS wire. We're going to use our 10 millimeter socket. Remove that bolt. Go ahead and set that bolt aside. Then we want to go right to the opposite side of that strut and we're going to use our 12 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove this bolt right here, holding our brake flex line in place. Gonna remove that bolt, set this aside. Now we have our number six Allen wrench on the inside here. We're gonna use our 17 millimeter wrench, slide over this and get it onto the nut itself. Let's go ahead and loosen the nut here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen and remove our strut nuts here. It's gonna be two of them. You can use a 24 millimeter wrench or 15 sixteenths. You can use an impact tool if you choose to. We're just gonna use our ratchet. And we just wanna go ahead and break these nuts free. Gonna use our breaker bar on this here to go ahead and loosen this. And it appears the entire bolt is spinning inside. Let's try the lower one. All right. So we're able to get this loose. We'll spin off that upper nut. We'll do the same for the bottom. Now, if the bolt is spinning with your nut and you can't set, keep them, keep one stationary, just use a wrench or a pair of pliers on it on that end. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to pop a pair of adjustable locking pliers on here just to hold that. Once again, you can use air tools, impact tools, whatever you need to to go ahead and get these out. Go ahead and remove these here. Underneath the hood, you're going to have a little access panel right here. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. You can use a little pry tool. You want to pop this open and pull that out. Now inside here, you're going to have access to three 14 millimeter nuts in a triangular pattern that is supporting that strut. You do not want to touch or loosen that center bolt. Let's go ahead and use our socket and ratchet. Loosen and remove these. Once these are pretty loose, you can go ahead and spin them out by hand. All right, go ahead and grab our strut. We want to separate this from the knuckle itself. You can go ahead and use a small pry bar to go ahead and get in here and pop this apart. strut and pull that out. Now with the strut removed, the knuckle can be extremely loose. You want to try and prevent that CV axle from pulling out of its joint. So I'm just going to use a securing strap here, going to a spot into the frame right here. 
you can come down and and anchor a lug or something like that there just to keep this from falling forward while you're away from the vehicle. Right now we have our strut set up in our compression tool. We're gonna to go ahead and compress our spring and then we'll go ahead and loosen and remove the nut on the top and we'll disassemble the strut. Now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna get a preliminary setting of where the center of the strut is right here and just kind of run a crayon mark up the middle here. And then I'm gonna come straight up the top here and I wanna get a basic alignment of where this upper bearing plate is. And some vehicles it's gonna be critical, others it's not necessary. I just like to make it a habit. So I'm gonna mark this here. That way there when I reassemble the upper bearing plate I'm gonna go ahead and line up this mark with the center between where these bolts would go on our replacement strut. All right, at this point here, we're gonna use our 17 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and remove the upper bearing nut. Doesn't wanna come off, we're gonna go ahead and switch to an impact. We're gonna go ahead and use our 17 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the upper nut here. Now when this nut comes off, the strut is gonna to wanna to drop out, so you wanna be able to hold that. Go ahead and loosen that upper nut. You can remove your upper washer here, and you can slowly lower the strut up from the bottom. Let's go ahead and disassemble your cap, bumper, and we have our old boot. Then we want to go ahead and remove the upper bumper here from our spring. doing is we put some spray lube inside here and we're going to go ahead and rotate our spring out of the upper mount. Go ahead and twist that out and there you have it. Now we have the old remnants from the old boot right here. We want to keep that isolator pad. So what we're going to do is on this upper rib right here, we're simply going to cut around the perimeter. Use a blade. Be careful doing this. So we still have an upper bearing plate, we have our isolator pad, and we trimmed off the old broken fat here. Okay, so at this point here, we want to go ahead and install our upper bearing plate. I'm going to thread this on. So line this up and we'll start to push this on and that spring will bottom out once it's seated right here and drop down our bumper here slide our boot down and over gonna drop that on the top Good. feed this up and in. You want to go ahead and line up this rubber block here with a notch in your strut spring tray. And hold that up in position. This point here, get install this here. Put our washer on the top. And get the nut started. We're simply going to line up that bearing plate I'm gonna go ahead and snug down this upper nut. Now 
Now we're releasing this here. You also want to keep an eye on that lower bushing on the bottom, make sure that, that locks into place. And that spring expands out nice and even. I want to go ahead and torque this nut down to 42 foot pounds. I'm going to remove this from the tool. Let's go ahead and install it on our vehicle. We can go ahead and remove our strap holding our knuckle. Set that aside. Let's go ahead and grab our strut. Let's go ahead and try and get this lined up a bit. I'm gonna feed this behind our flex hose here. What you wanna do is try and get that strut lined up on the top. Get those studs lined up in that body there. And then bring that knuckle around and try and get that pushed in onto this. So I went ahead and I popped a bolt in on top just to hold the strut in place. The bolt does have to go into the other side. So we're just gonna line up the bottom bolt can't get it to line up, you can always put a pry bar or a screwdriver on the other side, the strut and the knuckle, and just kind of work that around until that fits in. Tap that bolt through, pop out that upper one, put it in the way it's supposed to go. And we'll tap that through. Once that's through, let's go ahead and get the two nuts started on the bolts. With the strut bolts poking through, let's go ahead and get all three nuts started on here. Now that we have all three of them started, let's go ahead and get those snugged down. Let's go ahead and torque down those nuts to 43 foot-pounds. Do this for all three. Go ahead and install your cover. There's going to be two tabs on the bottom right here. You want to get those to lock in right here. Once those are lined up, just simply press this back into place. Let's go ahead and install our 12 millimeter bolt for our brake flex line right here. Once that's caught, we're going to go ahead and get our ABS line and bracket installed right here. You just want to make sure that these are tight. You don't want to over tighten them, but make sure that they're snug and locked into place. Now I'm just going to spin off the bolts here, put a little bit of any size compound on the threads, get these bolts started again. I'm going to go ahead and Get these snug down. Okay. Remove the nut from your sway bar end link. I'm gonna go ahead and get this lined up. Work that in. And get the nut reinstalled. Let's get and tighten down this nut. So you can torque this down to 58 foot pounds. So you can torque down these nuts to 156 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. Once that's on, install all of your lug nuts. We'll snug those down and then we'll lower the vehicle and we'll torque all the lug nuts. Let's go ahead and torque our lug nuts down to 95 foot pounds.
Now if the strut has been replaced, you want to go ahead and bring your vehicle down and get an alignment performed. That way you can prevent premature wear of any other related components. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.